In this video, I'll show you how we can install Portainer on Docker. So I'll go to Portainer here. So look for the Portainer and here is the Portainer.io. Click on install. Community edition. Install Portainer C now. So we'll go for here in Docker Portainer C with Docker on Linux. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll create the Docker volume, create Portainer data. So this is the first command that I use here. And right now it gives me the error of permission denied. So I'll go for sudo and then run this command. So it has created the Portainer data now. And then we will pull the repository here. So here is Portainer server container. So I'll just copy this with the sudo command here. So is, now it will get the latest release. And there you go. It has downloaded the newer version. Now I'll again, I look for sudo docker ps. So it will give me a list of all the containers which are running right now. So I'll go for the IP address. As I told you, my IP address is here. So I'll take this particular IP address here and access this from here. Of course, its port for the container installation was, uh, I'll just do it here, Docker PS 9443 is the container port. It is asking for the HTTPS request, so I'll be running the HTTPS. Here we go. So you can see here, Portainer is running right now. So create a user here. So here you can see add environments, get started. So I'll click on get started right now. You can see only one container is running right now, which is Portainer. I need to make sure that if the server is restarting, for example, sudo reboot, now the server is going to be restarted. And of course, my uh, container is also stopped right now. So I won't be able to access this container right now as the server is restarted. So I'll just reconnect the server to make sure that it works. Let me check the Docker PS right now. So if I go for um, sudo systemctl and I look for the status of Docker, so it will show me it is active and well. So if it doesn't restart automatically, you need to make sure that in systemctl, you need to enable the service so that it will automatically start the service. If I check for Docker, it will show me all the commands here. You can see here. So these are all management commands, manage build, manage, manage Docker, manage volume, all of this. Info will display the system-wide information and version will show the Docker version, login, logout, and image. So I want to see the list of images here. So I'll check for sudo docker image ls. So you can see two images here. One is the Portainer CE, which is latest version. Seven days ago, it was created 273 MB and then is Hello World. Of course, these two images are already downloaded and I'm not, uh, I have installed based on these images right now. But if I talk about uh, sudo docker ls or ps, sorry. So it will show me the containers which are running right now. The status is up created seven minutes ago and up is three minutes ago. So which means that this is automatically running right now. So now if you see here on container, so I have one container which is running right now and one is healthy images. So right now I have only one image, which is of course container. So all the unnecessary images which were not required were already deleted. So if you see the volume, storage volume, container data that we created while uh, creating the container, uh, container so that time we installed the portainer data and if you see here the networks so it has automatically created the network 
uh, bridge, post, and um, so these are all the networks. So in case you want to do advanced network setting here, you can do that also here. You can provide the subnet range depending upon your needs and requirements. So I'll be going to container here. So in case you want to add a new container, so I can add it here. As I mentioned that uh, I have my favorite containers are these. So I'll be covering some of my favorite and some of important Docker containers, installation tutorials, step-by-step -step guide in next videos. Don't forget to check out my Docker playlist where I have curated some of my personal favorites. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for my next videos. See you soon.